Right, this is the first piece of slate from which I took the, um, created the edited image from to show you. So basically what I was trying to do was show a tidied up version of um, kind of what you could expect from, from an end product. Um, so what I did literally was just scattered, threw on some spare glass in here, blue and turquoise range, and could even look at having some really, um, you know, having some really um, protruding sculptural passages, bit of glass there, might not necessarily be that colour, or I could add blue to it, turn it into a blue, it could be standing proud, we could have a blue reflection. When the sun or the light hit it would come down the face of the work, overhead sun in the summer, so that's that. Ignore these edges here. This is just loose. It's loose bits of slate. I've popped it up on some stuff behind. So that is literally the edge coming round there. And this edge here could be built out a bit with slithers of slate. You have to imagine that there's board behind. Um, now, this is more rugged than, than, than the image that I showed you. This slate isn't cleaned up, it's just as it's come off the roof and then these, these nibbled edges and, and then as I say quite often there's a straight edge. So you could use that. That is approximately uh, 50 by 55 that piece. Right, just going over a selection of pieces as they come, they're usually on some sort of rectangle or triangle or um, a straight edge with a, a rugged area the other side. I like pieces like that, probably because I'm a painter, so I like the rectangle shape and I can sort of see images, images within it. There's a smaller piece here that's rather nice with some rough edges on it. You can still see the concrete where it was attached to the, to the old roofs at one time. As I say, they've not been cleaned up, so they look very pale and dusty at the moment. Just going to this piece here, I stood up. This piece isn't quite so dusty. I don't know if this shows through the camera, but you can see the lovely copper the mineral marks through there which would come up really well once it's polished to try and preserve those. Now this piece here is approximately 70 long by about 50 wide. Um, you know, it depends how rugged you want to go. Um, this could be trimmed down, it could be rounded off a little bit up here and a, the same on these corners here and I could nibble it in a way that it still stays quite quite rough, you know, it still stays irregular. Um, just going back to these again, uh, within a piece like this, I mean, again, this is probably about 40 by about 70 or 60, um, pieces can be uh, put together. Um, so, for example, doing that and the way I work is look at the slate and that kind of informs, that would inform the shape of the channel, if you like. So looking at that, just mucking about with that there for a minute, I can, I can see a little channel going on there. I could build this out with some ribs of slate and maybe force another channel in there. So there's all sorts of possibilities. I think it's for you to let me know, really, if you want to go rectangular or more round. A piece like this we could use. It could be really asymmetrical, something like that, if you like that sort of shape. Uh, and then, you know, you'll almost see the glass channel going up through there. But that gives you a good idea of what's the, what the slate's like. So it can be worked to a square, a round or an oblong.